Mary Beth with Rover's Makeover. Today I'm doing a terrier mix named Boomer. Boomer is 16 years old, completely deaf, and his back legs do not work 100%. So we're gonna take it nice and slow and get him done. I'm gonna start with the nails. You're gonna try to bite? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. You're okay, bud. And I know he can't hear me, he's deaf, but I'm still gonna talk to him. I'm not, not gonna talk to a dog just cause they're deaf. Come here, bud. It's okay. You're okay. Hey, shh, You're okay. They said he's about three months past due, and that's very helpful for us because it tells me how long he was when they last got him cut. You're okay. I know. Getting nail trims is not fun. No, no, no. It's okay. Yeah. Very gentle with his back feet, back legs. So that's where you want to stop, is where you see that bullseye, that black spot in the middle. That's when you want to stop. Right there. Right there. I have a 30 blade on here. I'm going to do his paw pads. My clippers are really loud because my blade drive needs to be replaced and our clipper guy and blade guy is the one that usually replaces them. And we already put a call into him, so it'll be changed soon. So I apologize about the noise. I also think the wide blades tend to make a lot more noise than the regular sized blades. Good boy. Okay. I was just checking to see that that wasn't matted in there because it looked matted to me, but it's not. I'm just going to gently turn him this way so I can reach this side. I'll show you, I've had some questions about how I clean these. I clean these 
I know which blades I put where, and I clean them after every single dog. So this is what I use. I use clipper side. And I don't know if you can see that, but I have five other cans over there of it. So I just turn this on and spray. And it gets all that hair out. And it comes down here. I just wipe it and turn it off. And I dry it. And there it's nice and clean and ready for the next dog. All that hair came out. So you can get these off of Amazon. It disinfects, lubricates, cleans, cools, and is an anti-rust. So I have a 15 blade. His mama said he doesn't like his private area cleaned. So we will see about that. Wow, I've never seen a dog this old still intact. Easy, then turn this way. So now what I'm gonna do is take a brush and just gently brush him out. Turn him gently, gently, gently. Come this way, boy. There we go. So after I get him all brushed out, get him in the tub. So the reason you want to brush your dog out before bathing them is if there's any tangles, any mats, it will make them significantly worse after you bathe and dry them, it tightens the mats. And we definitely don't want that. I would say, I'm thinking about it now because she said like a wet, uh, like a schnauzer cut. So I would say this is most likely a Westie. She mentioned for me to watch this right here. I mean, you could easily cut that off with the clippers. So I want to be careful on that. All right. Almost all brushed out. There's another one right there. So I'm gonna get him over in the tub. So today I'm gonna be using this Green Groom Odor Eliminator Shampoo, fresh and clean scent in our car wash nozzle. Everything I've used and am going to be using will be linked down in the description box. Whoa, 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 easy, bud. Come here. So as I'm scrubbing, this is washing away any dirt, oil, dead skin cells that may be coming off of him. It's not just sitting on the coat like it would if you were hand bathing.
You want to rinse really well. Make sure you're not leaving behind any shampoo. It will cause skin irritation, possibly even hot spots. It will make the coat look oily. Oh my God, I gotta rinse your booty. And I will see you back on the grooming table after he's dry. So the owner said like a schnauzer cut, so I'm assuming they mean like a westy cut and not a schnauzer cut because it's basically the same thing. The head is just different. You go down, you shave the top, and then leave a skirt. So that's what we're going to do. This is a seven. I can kind of see where the line was. So you don't want to go like this and press a hard line. You want to just skim it. You're, you're wanting it to blend. You want it to look like the dog is supposed to be like that. I'm gonna use scissors to trim all this up. I don't know if this is an injury or what, but there's like a stub of a tail. Usually there would be a regular size tail. You would trim the top and the sides and leave the bottom and then trim that. Uh, because of this dog not having much of a tail, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim all this hair off. I'm going to turn him. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. The best we can. He's a little lopsided. That is the battery backup for the camera system. We had a power outage a while ago and I can't figure out how to turn the beeping off. Straighten out his neck the best we can. And get in here so we can get all that. Turn him, take this off. Going down to the collarbone. going to reverse shave up in here. I'm gonna find the base of the head, brush all this up, and then I'm gonna go down about an inch.
and put the loop back around his neck for safety, for mainly due to his age. And every single time I have put him in that cage, as soon as I open it, he tries to lunge and jump out. And that's a safety risk. We write that down on the card if a dog does that because we need to be on guard so they don't jump out and suffer head trauma. So what I'm gonna do now, usually I would do the body, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the head first. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Shoshin anti-static, anti-frizz coat conditioner. Oh, I keep forgetting that's there. I'll gently brush out his head. So a Westy head is supposed to be round. This dog does not have the right coat for that. So I'm just gonna trim this uh, the way I think it's gonna look best for him. Brush all this down. We're gonna take quite a bit off up here. These are chunkers I'm using. Come on, bud. No. Come on. I know, bud. Okay. Brush all that out. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, I'll turn him this way. Hold him this way. Usually Westy ears would be tipped. I don't like the tipped look. I don't tip ears. Um, on Yorkies, I'll usually shave the entire ear. It's a much cleaner look. So I'm just gonna trim this up really close. because he's not a purebred Westie. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit.
So when a dog hasn't been in in a long time, you know, over four months, you it we really have to work to get it back to where it is supposed to be because we don't have that general shape of the groom. So we really have to put some thought into how we're going to groom said dog. Okay. So now I'm gonna clean this up. Quit pulling, bud. Quit pulling. show y'all how to fix a mistake. So I went like this with the chunkers. I'm just gonna blend this. These thinning shears will help blend that and then we'll make this side look even. to fix mistakes that you make. Just gotta learn how to do it. So thinning shears take off a lot less than chunkers. It's just, they just blend things a little bit better. So you can't really tell where the cut marks are. This needs to be trimmed. Just takes a little bit of hair off, but you can't tell that it was really cut. hair out. Okay. Take a little bit more off here. All right. So I'm going to call that good on the face except for around the eyes. I'm gonna take a 10. I'm just going to Clean that up. Okay, now I'm gonna work on the rest of the body. This won't take me very long.
just cleaning it up a little bit. I don't want to cut it super short. I want it to look natural. Just want to clean it up a little bit. So it actually looks like it was, the dog was groomed. Okay, and then here. Same thing, I'm gonna turn him carefully. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Not every dog gets the exact same thing. We have to work with the dog. We have to figure out what's gonna work, look best on that specific dog. Even if I had, you know, his brother from you know the same litter come in they're not going to both be cut the exact same because we have to you know we're going to do what's best for that specific dog bud. And for elderly dog like this, I need to make um, whatever's going to work best for the owner also. I can't just think about, you know, the dog all of the time. You know, what is, what is going to be easier for the owner to maintain? Easy, bud. Easy, bud. But I gotta have this arm. Okay. Now we can gently turn him back this way.
Ha, 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 ha. Gentle. Gentle, bud. I know. You're getting tired. It's okay. So I want you to please let me know down in the comments what you think about this video. Uh, is this a lot better than when there's a bunch of dogs in here? Is it more enjoyable because there's not a lot of dogs in here? Is it easier to hear me? I'm just trying something new because I want it to be enjoyable and I don't want a bunch of background noise. So it's not gonna look 100%, especially cause he, you know, his back legs don't work 100%. So I gotta just do the best I can. Clean these feet up just a little bit. Well, it's not the best, but easy. Hey, hey. That's what he was trying to do as soon as I opened the cage. We definitely don't want that. That's why it is very important to have these loops on. Okay, so I'm gonna call it good for him today. Up just a little bit better. I think we're gonna call it good for today. Can always do a little bit more next time. But I think he looks pretty good. He looks a hell of a lot better than he did coming in. So here's what he looks like, all finished. He can't hear.
Mary Beth with Rover's Makeover to do. Cut that part out. Test, test. I will see you back on the grooming table after he is dry after the bath. <laughs>